I uh, moved to Australia in 2004 with my wife at the time. Um, I was lucky at the time because I had a job to go to. Uh, my mother had lived here for almost 20 or so years. So I had a, I had a leg in to come, to come here in, in terms of that. So I'm lucky in that respect. Um, the company I was working with transferred me over, so they paid for everything. Um, myself and the furniture as well so we got a good leg in there in regards to moving over as opposed to I know a lot of people hear horror stories in regards to moving over and jobs promise whatever but um, I was lucky in that respect so 2004 is when I first got here. 26th of June 2006 I boarded the plane never been out of, out of New Zealand or Tero, um, and travelled over to WA, Perth, and from Perth the next day, the 27th of June, I arrived in Kalgoorlie, Boulder, and came over here for a three week holiday by my son, who lived in Cambelda, for the birth of my second muku. and. The rest is history. I'm still here. I never went back home. I was in my last year of uh, the Navy, uh, my 20 years, and um, pondering life in civilian, in the civilian world. So um, I didn't realise that 20 years just came around so quickly. So um, I had to really determine what I wanted to do uh, uh, once I retired. Uh, we had an opportunity to, to come across to Australia because my wife's mum lived in Perth. So we took that opportunity um, to come across and see her, uh, bring her grandchildren over so she could see them. And uh, we spent uh, two weeks in Perth. Uh, she took us around and showed us all the places and you know, we, we were just gobsmacked what was here. It was, it was fantastic, the opportunities. The housing was pretty cheap at, in those days when uh, we decided to come across in, in 1996. Um, so, from the experience we had about two weeks, we went back to New Zealand and uh, we made a decision to um, to pack up our house and, and come to Australia. I moved to Australia in 2004. Um, I was halfway through halfway through sixth form at Rotor Boys High, and um, yeah, all my mates had left school, and I was only one only one left there pretty much, and. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was actually quite boring. So I had a mate that I I was going to school with at the time, and he actually come over early. He had uh, his mum and his brother and that there in Fano, and um, yeah, he basically uh, he rang me up and said, "Oh, bro, if you want to come over, cuz come over." So um, I took the plunge. I didn't know anything about Perth, and um, yeah, I came here, and um, yeah, the, the rest is. Uh, Sort of history, so you could say. I came to Australia in 1976. Um, it's a date I hate to repeat because of the six on the end. Um, 1976, and I came with um, an Australian. There was a couple of attempts to leave, um, and then finally, it was I think it was sixty dollars get a ticket, go to Australia. Um, oh, there was another reason I decided to go to Australia, and that was. I saw a lot of my friends going to jail, getting into trouble, and I didn't want to be a statistic. Um, out of the friendship base that I did have, everybody was starting to have affiliations and those sort of things. Hello. And so for me, the decision I thought quite plainly was get up and go and do something else. So as somebody 19 years old, um, had been working um, for a number of years and really was out on his own in terms of family connection. I elected to get on a plane and arrived in Melbourne. I moved here coming up four years ago. Uh, I moved over to see my my parents had been here for a little while and uh, I thought there'd be a new start 
uh, a fresh change, if you like. Um, coming from an acting background, I thought I wanted to get back into that. Uh, couldn't find a whole lot of roles for Māori Pacific Islander males. So um, I got into music and I've been there ever since. Um, it's treated me well being in this being in this part of the country, I think. Um, I moved to Perth in 2007. Uh, so January 31st, 2007, I'm coming up to eight years living here in Perth and I moved over with my three daughters. Um, we we came over because I'd split up from the kid's dad and you know you want a fresh start after something so long and and I was a little bit stuck in a rut everything was the same I was doing the same thing every day and really only just getting by it wasn't good my poor kids were suffering from a grumpy mum all the time so we moved over here in 2007 and I know they've, they've flourished because Mm. There's so many opportunities over here as long as we go out and get them.